finishing the announcements, we are here to be inspired by Diane Wilson, who inspired many of us yesterday uh, through her, her comments about her actions and about her writing. Uh, and I can't think of anybody better. Um, I don't think she needs much introduction <laughs> with this group. Um, but uh, please welcome Diane Wilson.
sweetheart deal. And he said, it's, it's, it's over with. Just, just pat yourself on the back and say, did a good job. You know you did well. And, and just be comfortable with that. And, and I wasn't comfortable with it. I wasn't comfortable with them taking my home. I'm not comfortable with what the government is doing. I'm not comfortable with what happened yesterday. I would have loved for us to have taken the street. I would have loved for us barge right into that front door. I really would have. And, and, but, 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 and so I realized that, you know, I, I had a spontaneous uh, instinct. And it came from the heart. It did not come from my head. Because I promise you, there is uh, many times that I think every person in this room is probably felt it. There is, you get this crazy idea. <laughs> you really, and it is so crazy. You, your, your heart starts beating faster and you start breathing a little funny and you're like, mm -hmm. but it's a terrific idea. And the thing with it is, you know what we do? We talk to someone about it and they're like, <laughs> oh yeah, or, or you sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. You sleep on it, you're gonna wake up the next morning and say, Oh thank God I didn't do that. <laughs> but, but, uh, but I'm telling you, is is we are such a linear Western world yeah. rational thinking, that's the only thing we value is the rational, planned out uh, strategy. And I just I'm just Advocating, just telling you a little bit, and I know every time I say this, I usually, I have green peas, they'll call me and they're like, Diane, I wish you wouldn't say stuff like that, you know, I'm just really upset when you say stuff like this, but we really should not plan so much, and we should move from the heart, and it is not a, a crazy idea, it is your heart thing, and, and, and it's like, you know, I, I know, uh, they call me an environmentalist now, and, and they're real fond of saying, talking about Gaia all the time, and Gaia's alive, and Gaia's this. But the thing that is, they do not trust Gaia. They do not trust her. You know, they, they don't give her a lot of, oh yeah, we reverence Gaia, she's alive, and it's like, do not put your input into our plan, though. You know, and the thing that is, is when you, you go on your instinct, you go with your intention, you put yourself at risk, yeah. you create miracles. Yeah. You do. Matter of fact, that was, um, uh, I think that was, uh, that was one of Gandhi's favorite quotes, and if it wasn't, it sure would be a good one. You don't need people, you don't need money, all you need is this commitment at risk. And the thing that is, is we so have so mistaken what commitment is. We think that we sign a petition, we think that we go to the, 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 you know, do a little demonstration over the weekend, if we do a little potluck and talk about stuff, that, that, that we're going to make change, and by God, in a month, if we haven't done it, we're really pissed off. I don't know that anymore. I just didn't go work. You know, forget this stuff. And the thing that is, you go out there like, like if we had took that, if we took that little bridge, yeah, just think, yeah, and we could have done it. Yeah, yeah, So, and but the thing that is, it's not just these crazy ideas I have. It's like they work. They work. And so uh, there was, it's a, uh, I'm going to end this, but it's, it's a very famous quote by one of the American brothers. I always forget which one it was. And he said, the reason why there is no peace is because there are no peacemakers. And what he meant was, he said, because we do not get as agitated, as crazy, as, as committed as those people who that we send out on our battlefields. We get these kids, these 17, 18 year olds, sit them with a gun, sit them over there, salute them, wrap the flag around them, sit them off, 100%. They're 100%. They come back with missing legs, missing arms, souls destroyed. You know, I, uh, I, I, I married a Vietnam uh, vet, you know, and 40 years later, 100% disability, PTSD. 
I mean, it destroys them. And we send them off, and then when it comes down to stopping some of these atrocities, we're like, oh, well, I just, I just don't think I can go to jail. You know, I just, I just don't think it'll look good on my, uh, my, my, my job application, you know. That's, that's what it comes down to. But if we want change, we have to be 100%. None of this 50% crap. Okay, that's it. <laughs>